Castellian city of Thessaly into a new bastion port to be named Antipetreia after the founder of our dynasty. Fitting company for Thessalonica and Cassandria. So we can say get to work. So we found a city, costs 100 bucks. Cassandra's our true founder, so it gets a different name for 100 bucks. Or it is Alexander that we owe. This is available because we have the blood of the Arge uh, uh, um, Argeids. We'll commence the founding of Alexandra Thessalius. We'll gain popularity. So this option, the only difference is that this option gives us popularity. And there it's all the same. So we may as well hit the one that gives us more popularity. Sounds good to me. Our ships no longer have a commander over here. Whatever, grab that. So we can make him our rival. And we can then assassinate him. Petitioner approaches. Hush voice spoke of a spe vision of the future in which he's found by his loved ones having been burnt to the stake. Shaking hands, he offered all his worldly goods to the state in return for our production. Helpful, we'll take good care of him. So Mastodon gets a ton of money. He'll gain loyalty. Or we can convince him that all will be well. We'll gain some stability. Who cares? Actually, our stability is apocalyptically low because our kings keep dying. Um, he'll gain a ton of loyalty. Or we can have him burnt to the stake because we're cruel. He has a vision that he's going to be burnt to the stake. Okay, let's make sure his vision comes true. We get a lot more money. And a little bit of tyranny. Okay, research is needed. Let's assign some jobs here. Yes, especially if there's some families. Well, this guy here is, is going to be great. Because this is going to fix this family, who's currently cranky. He's got good skill. Doesn't have much in the way of statementship, but he'll gain some here. He's young. He's got plenty of time to reaccrue that. This pretender support is just going to be sick. But this will actually satisfy one of the families, and that might help. Chloe team the evil. Look how much money we've got! Well, we're not going to go to war with a disloyal army here, so I guess we're going to go back to the macro builder for a little bit. Spread out the, uh, the city, uh, the settlement love. I know there's some territory down here that we own, but I'll focus over here because it's going to be easier for us to defend. could rebuild our navy as well. But part of me kind of wants to make do without the navy right now. We'll be in Civil War ends. Okay, we've got some cash. What we're going to do is we should find um, our... Okay, some of our vassals. So Athon is... Uh, Athon. Athens is a feudatory. Um, so for integration... Yeah, they need to be here for 10 years. So Athens is not going to be the right person to start with. Um, client state, I think, can be integrated. C3. Oh, not for five more years. Unitory with Oreos? Okay, so Oreos, they just need to have 190 opinion of us. They've got 100 now, so we should be able to influence the Oreos. Improve opinion over here. And then we should be able to integrate them. And I think that's going to be really good. Does our current character have any diseases? It's a great question. He's bald. Does that count? I'm unnoticeable. I have dysentery. Of course I do. Of course I do. Why wouldn't I have dysentery? Civil War will break out in 13 months. Woo! Actually, the two people who are almost going to do it, they're not like apocalyptic. Maybe flip you. Make a friend, but I'm just actually thinking I'm just giving you a direct bribe. There you go. No more civil war. There's actually a country of Oreos. I don't even know where it is. I mean, I'm sure it's Oe Oreos. But Oreos, baby. Oh, right here. It's, uh, it's the cream filling in our sandwich of territory. Right over here. So, yeah, how does wonder building work? Um, good question. Um, three wonders? So there we go. So, randomize the name. I mean, it's because it's in Pydnia, but we can call it whatever. Totally legit Petra, right? And then we get to choose 
each one of the layers of this, how we might want to have it look. These are, this is the tower. There's also buildings. Pyramids. There you go. And build a step pyramid. Hmm, templates? Yeah, interesting. And then, yeah, even your, your effects over here, we can choose all the effects of what this wonder might do for us. So if we built this, you know, random mishmash right now, uh, we'd, you know, improvement to our garrison size and fort defense, we'd be integrating faster, and our cohorts would recruit faster. I love that, like, that's going to be really potent, I think. I don't think we're going to build one right now, but it is really excellent. Hot-headed slave with talent for oration by the name of Dude has been stirring up his fellow bondsmen. Okay. We can round up the, tr the troublemakers and crucify them. We would gain popularity. It would kill a slave pop. Slave movement crushed for 10 years, reducing slave happiness, and we get more tyranny. We divide up the group and deal with the leader. This would give me popularity. Uh, slave output would be reduced, cost us political influence. If this if this dude could be useful, we'd lose popularity because we'd be elevated elevating a slave. But the population would be happy. Uh, Silver tongue character named him. Now let's do it. Let's get a new buddy. We're gonna lose a little popularity, but I think we'll be okay. Don't build Petra, make one, please. Well, you know, if we, we if we're gonna build the Petra, we'd obviously have to build it here. I mean, come on, man. Thracians overtures. Word reached that Thracian envoys have visited Athens to discuss political situation. Geralt, Athens has seen fit to renege on their obligation of us, entered an alliance with Thrace. Athens is no longer our subject? We're so unstable, we can't declare war. <laughs> we, we, I mean, we've lost a lot of rulers back to back to back. We'll bounce back soon. It's gonna be okay. Any law changes we might want to do? Offices are here. I mean, we could shuffle the law offices, maybe. Um... The only thing we can do is change our succession laws. This man of succession, the eldest child of the ruler, will be the primary heir, regardless of gender, in order to secure strong, legitimate bloodline. However, it becomes commonplace for royal siblings to intermarry, thus avoiding any chance for the lineage to be sullied. Uh-huh. We, like, make make inbreeding the, the thing of choice? It's pretender support. Yeah, our internal stability is kind of low. No civil war brewing, that's good. Oh, we don't have any of these running. Oh, that's interesting. Royal humility. When activated, uh, we can nominate an heir, and while it's active, national freeman happiness is increased. It does cost us stability. Changing laws costs us stability, though. And right now, that might not be a good thing. Okay, so theoretically, I could declare a war now. I don't have a CB against Athens, which feels a little bit weird. I do want to get them back, but what I might do here is... I think I'm going to fabricate on these guys, and we'll prep the war. Hopefully we can get these guys loyal. If not, well, we'll still make do. We'll just get some levies. It's going to be fine. Um, fabricate a claim. Was that instant? Yeah, I'm come out on route, though. Do, do, do. Ah, there we go. Alexandria Thessalius. Our new city has been constructed. Some pops are going to move around. Things are going to change. Local fort defense. Mission change. Mission progress. Um, there we go. Okay, so there is a job. Where does it show up as? What's the symbol for it? Where's our, where's our timer for fabricating claims? Uh, must be somewhere. What's our opinion over here? Not enough. Okay. Outliner just a little above it? Oh, active diplomacy over here! Okay. There's not a category for fabricating claims, it's just active diplomacy. Um, what is this? Seeking a patron. 
We'd gain some popularity, sought patronage. This guy would get pr uh, prominence and a rank. Or we seem busy washing our hair. We could say this guy, all right. Eager, politically inexperienced, credentious has approached us in advance since asking for formal patronage. Uh-huh. Stupendous pun. What's the pun? Busy watching our hair. Is it a Greek pun? But this would give us plus one to a skill. Although it would tank his loyalty, which really... And it's this guy here. Now, let's... um let, Let's... Unfortunately, it's not going to give him more loyalty, but it will give us more popularity, which I think we kind of need. I'm bald. Oh, is it because I'm bald? That's the game knows that I'm a bald character. Oh my god, that's funny. Oh, we have pirates. How bad are these? Oh, they're actually a little bit on the rough side. Let's um, let's build some ships here. Now, there are two light ships over here. The Trireme just seems to be just flat out better at war than the Liburnian. Liburnian's a little faster. I guess it does more morale damage, but the Trireme takes less morale damage, and it's got a bonus against the Liburnians. So it feels like what I should do is build like 10 more Triremes. Maneuver's a big thing for flanking. To do like half and half. Well, actually, this would be 10. If I built 10 Triremes, it would be half and half between the Liburnians and the Triremes. So let's do that. We'll have a stack of 32. We can automate them, like, on um, uh, pirate hunting. I mean, this guy's never going to love me. He did seize all his assets. Although it is wearing off surprisingly quickly. A wise man, we could have him teach us. We'd lose popularity. We would get two military, but lose something up. We have crap stats. Or let him roam, and we'll get some local population happiness forever. Well, that actually seems pretty helpful. Let's do that. Oil a beard, not wash it. Yeah. Yeah, beard beard care is a is serious business. So these guys won't move. I don't know if they'll do anything. They might defend our borders if they're disloyal, but I don't think they'll go on the aggression aggression side. We should just make him a rival and assassinate him. I mean, come on. Let's get rid of this pump. Rodian Civil War ends. All right, good for them. We're waiting for Oriok to go above 190 so we can start integrating. Yeah, we have we have garbage stats. I think dysentery as well. Bunch of farming settlements just finished. Oh, we can have a new omen. We're going to take the Discipline boost here. Because we're going to get in a kerfuffleage over here shortly. We actually are nearly done uh, justifying our claim. So we'll do that. We can raise our levies now. We can start a war with your levies raised in this. Because it's different. Than other, than, it's not CK2. That's what it comes down to. It's not Crusader Kings. How's Rome doing? Pretty well, actually. All right, claim is in place. We'll just get our troops up there, and then we'll pull the trigger. Rome's doing very well for itself. I mean, Macedon's bigger, although I think we started bigger. We did have the one ruler with brain damage. Like, yeah, him having a short life was not the worst case scenario for us. It was annoying that he got the brain damage event. Like, he got multiple diseases. Because he had dysentery and brain damage, and I feel something else, and our, our, our starting ruler had gout, and maybe something else too, I'm not sure.
Alright, we've got enough money, we can get mercs if there's, you know, if it goes badly for some reason. Boom. 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 How much people down here? Maybe we'll move that way. Gotta be a little careful about this one. I guess I could use the 500 stack to scout. Oh, they are moving. This loyal army is moving. They may do... So we can't control them, but I guess they're still going to be contributing, which is nice to see. Catch. We can probably move our fleet out here. Oh, which is... It's unautomated, so it's going to go and help by itself. I really like the automated features in this. One of the th the problems with playing Imperial to Rome is after you play Imperial to Rome, and then you go back to EU4, you're like... Why is there not more automation? I mean, the ship automation at U4 is great. But a little bit more for your units would be, oh, so handy. You're spoiled here. Alright, 5k stack moving around, but I don't think they're going to engage anything. Taxis are going to move away again. <gasps> Ruler is born. My son has been born. Alright. Here, let's pick a name from chat for our son. I'm just going to look in one second at someone who says something in chat at the bottom. It's going to be Octavian. Good name. Octavian. Welcome to the family. There we go. The siege is there. We're getting attrition over here. So I'm just going to say, I think the ship's changing fine. They got all the way over there and like, wait, attrition? I don't like that. And then they left. Still, this should be... Uh, Short, victorious war. The kind that we like. It's coming. Active war there. We're at 156 relationship with Oreos. I got some Oreos upstairs. I think I'm going to have to grab some. <laughs> Tomation is great. Wait, attrition? Um, oh. Oh, new ship. Actually, they don't need a governor because they're just going to merge up with the other fleet soon enough. All right, that's going well. I mean, once we have control over here, we shouldn't get attrition, but the whole reason we need a ship's over here is to take control. I mean, I could manually park them here and eat a little bit of attrition to help with the siege. I don't know if that's correct. It might be. You know, I think we will. Let me send you over here. Might not matter. We'll take a look. War exhaustion is growing slightly. Stability is at least going up after all our deaths. Lack of commander, that's fine. Pretender support, we're just going to have to keep eating that. It does suck that our legion, our proud legion, is disloyal. By the way, um, if you didn't see the video, you can see the um, like these legions get these special distinctions. So this is our first legion ever. So this legion's always going to get a huge boost to army morale recovery. Uh, and their cohorts aren't going to become as loyal than they did in this case. Um, and then the legion dedication and view history. We can see all their battles and things too. It's a great little feature. Great feature. Freeman from Stoby. Group of freemen have left the city of Stoby and come to our settlement. So, we can let them settle. Our freemen will be somewhat unhappy, but we get two free pops, I think. Or we could send them back and lose money. And no, 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 it's fine. To do that, I'm going to go and tag you guys to Carpet Siege. Actually, can you do what I'll do? Can I actually attack here? No. It's blocked. Alright, so. We'll get that Carpet Siege, although I don't think they're going to do much. I'll flip that province because there's not a fort to flip it. Four percent attrition. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. I don't think we'll lose the ships here, and it will help maybe get this a little faster. And then we can just, you know, the ships will be fine because they'll be docked here. So. Win it! Ah, another Olympian. Send someone. Come on, this one for sure. This one for sure, you guys. Yeah. So I don't know what happens with that. It's a good point. We can add this extra commander, add a tribune to this legion. The first entry will always be a legate. So he's got 69 loyalty, which is pretty nice. I don't know. Is that like a backup character? I'm not sure what the deal is. Um, actually, everyone jump on this, please. I'll have to look that up. I don't know if there was info on that page. Describe it. 
lot. Everything's new, right? This this game, this new patch, this ginormous patch just dropped today. So we're going to have a few question marks about things. I did read all the dev diaries. It's probably explained in one of them, but there was so much. It was like a novel. Outside of naval range. But you can dock. Yes, okay. So it still counts as being outside of naval range, so it wasn't losing the attrition, but it can dock, and that's going to be okay. Uh, and then those vessels, we're going to leave them commanderless for a little bit. That's going to be okay. Uh, 72 war score. But they've got some they've got some allied territory here. We can go and siege a wee bit more. Because, yeah, we can't actually take everything. Not yet. Now, we might not want to. Um, aggressive expansion. Aggressive expansion isn't so much about external politics in this one compared to EU4. It's mostly about having your, um, your non-primary... Uh, cultures be kind of cranky with you internally, so it leads to internal problems. Ah! We failed to assassinate him! Let's just try again. Yeah, but it starts to be a little costly. Let's just wait for now, and yeah, he is hiding way over here. Oh, it's, if, I mean, it, uh, Charlemagne, yeah, if you already have it, it's definitely worth uh, playing again. <laughs> Like, that's an easy decision. No food over there. Sure, whatever. I don't know. We'll let you have military access for now. Oh, commendable. Ongoing war, taking the attention. Ooh, hello, Thamagra. Consort. Loyalty, prominence. As long as we're at prisoner or general at war, the consort will attempt to assist our country. Oh, very cool. Probably? Maybe? I don't know. Watch it backfire. Yeah, keep sieging out over here. What is this? You've eased mines. So this is Themagora again. The charismatic diplomatic savviness of consort Them Themagora is well known in courtly circles, and it is thus little wonder that she has made reassuring Macedonian foreign subjects her priority. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Main focus. Tribal chief. Most important subjects. Lavish diplomatic de delegation to assuage his concerns and ensure that Macedon's in capable hands. So, m my consort gained popularity... Pena would gain opinion of us. We get plus one Diplo rep. It costs us some money and political influence. That seems like a great idea. And how is Oreo doing? 169. All right. So we have 21 more to go. Now 20 to go. And we can integrate Oreos. Mmm. Getting hungry. Yeah, screw it. Let's just try to assassinate this guy again. Oh, what is this? Neglected hub. Freeman will play in Chocolates. I mean, reassured hub. Cost us money and political influence. No, let's do it. We're gonna let's just try to assassinate him again. Screw this guy. Screw this guy! I don't know if there's anything we can do to make the assassins assassinations, you know, more likely to succeed or anything like that. You know, like Crusader King style. What's the AI? I mean, I think the, the AI is comparable to EU4. I mean, it's a very similar mechanic, and it seems to work well. Hey, there we go. Another siege. We're now at 99%. We can boop these guys. I actually don't know if we need to uh, siege more things to uh, max everything out. I think I think there is, yeah, there's another little capital over there. Peace. Take this, this, that. Now, we can make them bend the knee, because that was also allowed. So, we're warring these guys because we have a mission. I think it's it's this mission here, the um, Illyrian question. We can just subjugate them, but we've got too many subjects, so we're just gonna eat them. We're gonna be fine. If you make a creed, your assassins will be better. Nice. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Um, navy, navy. Let's, let's just regroup everyone over here. One hundred percent. Now I don't have to eat all their little subjects, but I mean, come on, let's just let's just eat everything. Like, come on. Num 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 num. So what are we gonna do with their elites? Our enemies deserve no quarter. Hitting this button makes this very popular. It does reduce cultural happiness in these areas because we massacred their nobility. Um. We could burn off some aggressive expansion as well. We 
lose popularity by not doing it. I mean, the thing is, these guys are going to be unhappy no matter what. Enemies deserve no quarter. I want to become popular. I want to be cool. Uh, you're not very good, but we're going to make your family happy. Done. We can complete this mission. Integrated cultural culture happiness, national manpower. Their culture will gain Taluchian submission for 300 months, tanking their happiness. But it's going to let us complete or er, advance forward, so it's going to be okay. After Alexander defeated Kletos of Dardania and Clocius of Tolantia at Pelion, the when the walls fell, um, Illyrians were smart enough to accept submission to Macedon. The chaos left by Alexander and then Antipatros' death, they saw a new opportunity to cont contest the passes leading to Pelag Pelagonia and would eventually wounded pride. We have proved once again the Macedon's superior power and the Illyrians must play such hub hubris. So yeah, this will make them incredibly unhappy. But we'll gain Illyrian question, integrated culture, happiness, national manpower. Or we can say they have learned their lesson. So either way it completes the mission. Oh, this, oh, this we give them a province back and they became a vassal tribe. Vassal tribe doesn't use up a uh, diplomatic slot. They'll be very loyal for a while. No. Such hubris. Done. Done, done, done. So we could um, we could justify war over here, but we might take a little bit of a beat. Let me um, let me drop my levies so they can go back to work in their like farms and factories and whatnot. You're gonna come back somewhere, which is gonna be fine. These guys are still disloyal. I don't know. I think I think the thing to do is just to go back to. Um, Miraculous recovery. I've lost dysentery. Hooray! Um, I think we're going to go back to setting up the farming and mining and stuff like that. Just build up our infrastructure. Build three more. We have a little, bit of a nest egg that's going to be okay. Everyone wants military access. Sure. I mean, we can burn off a little uh, war exhaustion. That's going to be good. And we have a lot of aggressive expansion as well, actually. Letting that burn away is going to help um, our province loyalty not tank itself. Province problem is once our province loyalty starts to go down, it can become a big problem. Speaking of, we got some new provinces, so I'm just going to go ahead and enable trade. I mean, a lot of these don't have trade slots anyway, so it doesn't matter that much. Um, but... It would be bad if there was a bulk button for this. What is this? Last of the Argiraspids. We have rumors that one of the fabled Silver Shields, the backbone of Alexander's army, has been traveling through Pella. They have not often been seen after they betrayed Eumenes by handing him over to Antigonus as unit was split up and dismissed by the general. They are renowned for their fighting spirit, experience, and bravery. We can invite him to our court. It'll cost us money and we get this guy to our court. Or we don't need any of these fossils in Macedon. He gets banished. Do we want this guy? 65. You know, we'd be spending a lot of money for someone who's probably going to die relatively soon. So let's say no, although who knows, it might have led to something e interesting. I think the province tab's a little easier uh, for that. I guess that's true because we can, uh, we don't have to worry about the tabs. That's probably, it's true. For what I was using it for, using the province tab is probably handier. Okay. Gathering of animals. Strangest things happening in Methone. Animals have gathered around the palace of the Argeids in what is a quite spectacular sight. Must be a sign from the gods. Praise the animals. Two years of population happiness and omen power. We could sell animal feed for visitors to give. Oh my god, we can make a petting zoo! We'd lose some popularity, but our country would gain some money. Or at least people won't complain about food supplies for a while. We eat all the animals. Praise the animals or a petting zoo. What do you guys prefer? I think they're both fine. <laughs> you know, the pop happiness might be good right now with our aggressive expansion. But petting zoo sounds fun, right? Of course, yeah, let's pet, let's pet the animals. I don't know why we'd lose popularity. That would make me more popular, wouldn't it? Come here. And feed some goats. So cute. 
merge these ships up, and we'll go and put them on independent operations. If they spot some pirates, they should hunt them down. If we're at war, they'll do useful things. The game makes me really lazy. I love it. So we still have these mercs around, which I think is actually maybe okay to keep the, uh, the mercs around at this time. Civil Wars. All right. Just because I'm a little bit worried about, you know, the standing army that's disloyal. Stability's increased. Oh, there was a random little event over here. Our stability is getting better. It's still not great. I mean, below 50 is feels poor. Below 40, very much so. But it's recovered enough to hopefully not be a problem. Still have a fair amount of aggressive expansion. See, so yeah, taking a beat seems like a pretty good idea. Oh. What? Question of competence. You think we're incompetent? we we'll are lose 15 popularity? Dang it. Well, we're going to keep trying to assassinate here. Fingers crossed. I don't people like the petting zoo. I mean, maybe it's just they, they felt like it was disrespectful to what they saw as in, like, uh, you know, the gods getting in there, and I just made it into something kind of trivial and and um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like base and vulgar. Vul vulgar in the uh, the original sense, because vulgar just meant like common, right? I think it didn't mean rude. It just meant like common, as like as opposed to noble. I think kitschy, mundane. Yeah, maybe that sort of like sort of vibe. Made it commercial. Yeah, a little tacky. I think they noticed you're incompetent assassin. Maybe that would be it. We're not hiring the best. All right, Oreos. Come on. We have reached two hour mark. We're going to be putting a cut in here in a second, but let's go to speed five for a sec. It would be really great if we could start the integration. And I'm thinking continue this next Wednesday. What do you think? Wednesday slot, Imperial Rome for a while. Keep this campaign happening. So the war's ending. Good for them. Yeah, good. All right, cool. Barbarians. I mean, I could probably put you on independent operations, and I bet you'd go and stomp them on your own, but maybe I'll, I'll have to send you that way. Ah, decreased civilization value. Damn you, barbarians. Assassination successful! We've been informed that Philippus and Trippid was found brutally murdered in his home just last night. Investigators have reported that a wicked pike was used in the crime, a device known to be favored by Antrippus II. However, we have no hard evidence that links him to the crime. Regardless, we should be watchful. Nothing to see here. Okay, slow it down. Yes, he's died. What a shock. Fate of the kingdom is always in be intertwined, therefore, matter of great urgency. Currently, none of Antrippid's persons of quality ready to shoulder responsibility. Uh oh. Recognize our plight. Two of our loyal clients have offered to fill the place. Um, so yeah, we could we could adopt someone, but the problem is they wouldn't have the same bloodline trait. I like force, like, come on, let's let's make babies faster. I'm gonna say neither of them are fit because I really want the blood of Ant Antripros and blood of Argades to continue in our family. So we don't want to adopt. Get to the baby making. Come on. Isn't it silly that the mercenary units are more loyal? Well, no, because we pay them huge chunks of money. Like huge amounts of money, vast amounts of money. So the mercenary units are 100% loyal to their general. And their general is just loyal to the money that we spend. That's all it is. So it totally makes sense that the mercenaries are more loyal. All right, well, what we'll do is we'll, we'll wrap it up here. We assassinated the guy. Hopefully, it doesn't come and bite us in the ass at any point. Uh, hopefully, this guy stays nice and loyal. He's got the 70 loyalty, so that's at least okay so far. Um, we start demanding that people support our heirs and things. Yeah, we do have a baby. Where's our um, character over here? Uh, we have one child, Octavian. But that's it. We need maybe a few more just to keep our family to be uh, relevant. But yeah, we had a lot of deaths very quickly. I mean, the previous ruler died 19 from all of his diseases and injuries and stuff. Uh, and so I don't think uh, I don't think he ever made babies. I think he was like our, our brother or something. Yeah, Philippos over here. So we have one other brother. He's not married. Can I, like, get him married? 
Yeah, not really. Um, there might be another way to do it. Uh, we'll have to investigate that. Hopefully we can keep our family kind of vaguely intact. Anyway, we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, next live stream is going to be on Saturday, Vampire the Masquerade, Bloodlines. Then after that, Monday, Motorsport Manager. And then next Wednesday, there's going to be more Imperial to Rome, because I think this is going to be a pretty fun run. As a reminder, this was a sponsored stream. You can do exclamation mark what game. Get a link over there to check out Imperator. Uh, find out information about this giant, massive 2.0 um, uh, patch that has pretty radically transformed the game. The Heirs of Alexander DLC that we're really showing off here by playing as Macedonia. That's it. I'm going to see you guys on Saturday for some vamping. Thanks for coming out, everyone. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.